everybody, this is Zenith, and we're here playing on the new Feed the Beast server. Oh, how cool. <laughs> um, we finally got the server back up and running, and as you can see, I'm already a little uh, prepared for this. Um, I think this is going to be really fun, hopefully, and hopefully we can do a few things with other people. Um, and yeah, basically... I already have a few good things set up that I needed. Uh, a pulverizer, powered furnace, and a magma crucible. Uh, geothermal generator. I can't say that. Geothermal generator. Uh, bat box and a few other items um, that I really don't remember the names of. And I'm, I've am i been messing around with the uh, micro blocks. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> uh, but basically, today we're going to attempt to... Uh, get a geothermal type situation going here for energy and stuff because right now I think that's really the best way to go uh, I've been looking at Niles place and all he has is geothermal energy uh, nothing really else to it um, so I think that's a really good idea to use and I'm gonna get to it but first I need a few items I already have the pump but I need a few redstone engines for it I need a uh, Mm, I need some piping. Uh, I think I can use these gold waterproof pipes, which isn't really too hard to get. I can use. I need also a tank or a reserve tank, whatever it's called. Um, I really don't know how to make that. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to get this all set up, and I also need another ender chest, which is going to be a pain. I have this eighth aim, which was given to me by Niall. A lot of things I got was from Niall. Um, and I, I thank you for that. I really needed it. And, um, yeah, I need to go Enderman hunting. I already have one Ender chest. I think I already said that. And I need another so I can get it all set up. Uh, and I really, after I go geothermal, I'm going to go nuclear for sure. Um, I think that's the best idea. But right now I just need to find a few Endermen. So I can actually get everything working. I need to kill this guy. Come here, buddy. Alright, got him. Sweet. Got a bone. Um, and I just realized that you can macerate these guys. And I need I need a lot of bone meal <laughs> for the lamps, as you can see. They're really, really bright. And I think they look kind of good. I do want to cover them up a little bit more so they don't show as much. And as you can see, I've been doing a lot of work to this mountain. Uh, obviously, it was not created like this with all these saplings here. <laughs> um, I think that'll look cool though when it's all finished. It'll all flow together. Um, but as of now, I really want to get... Uh, ooh, is this not powered or something? Hmm. Hmm. I, anyway, I really want to um, go geothermal right now. Uh, instead of using water mills, that's not giving me any energy. Um, and obviously I need a lot of energy for stuff like my advanced lap pack, which I made for no reason. Um, for my mining drills, my all my tools I'm going to make soon. Um, and yeah, I'd really... Oh! Oh, nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really need all that stuff. But... Uh, I think I'm just going to take it one step at a time and I will get back to you guys when I think I got everything set up in the nether. Okay, so we're here in the nether and um, I'm pretty close to Niles Porter, about 200 blocks away. So, right now, I just want to build sort of a barrier so can't get hit by those uh, little guys who are always annoying. The gas and the freaking fire bats those are the worst oh man they're so annoying <laughs> um so i really don't know where i should set this up i do kind of want to uh expand this out a bit and i really am not too worried about the um the gas i have cobble they can't break it so i'm all good um so yeah right now i, I just want to get this set up so badly uh, I haven't even gotten an ender chest yet, or iron, or an iron tank, which is 
really important. I need an iron tank badly. <laughs> um, but I really just want to get this all working. I need to make this platform though, and look at all the lava I have. It's. I think I'll be good for energy for a while. Um, after I do this, I want to go nuclear though. Ooh, I can't wait till that. Oh man, I, I'm excited. Um, I really want to try and become one of the most advanced. But since Niles on the server, uh, he like he's addicted basically. <laughs> um, so I don't think I'm gonna really get too far ahead. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish up this little platform area, uh, and I will get back to you guys in a bit. Oh my gosh, there are so many ghasts. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is too much. It's so annoying. That's why I really need the cobble. <laughs> Jeez, they're so bad. Oh my gosh. Just look. He's right there. I could just go kill him and I'm lagging out because there's too many ghasts. <laughs> nice. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to try and get this all set up if I don't die. Oh, he committed suicide or something. Um... Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna get it set up now. We'll see you guys in a second. Okay, we got everything set up here now. <laughs> Took me a while to do. Um, I got some help from Niall, like always. <laughs> uh, basically, this is sort of an infinite energy system. So really good, uh, because number one, I'm right above the lava lake, and I have basically inf an infinite amount of lava. Uh, I really don't need to be no <sighs> words. <laughs> I really don't need to be. Uh, I don't need to worry about anything really about anything energy-wise. Um, basically, I'm I'm full. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what I could do. Um, but what I really want to do is move these machines to, uh, oh, or over there next to the MFE. Um, I might s put the MFE down below, right around here or something. And I'll just have all the machines right there. Uh, I think it'd be much easier and it wouldn't look as bad because this kind of looks messy. Um,. Yeah, so I got this hooked up to the Industrial Blast Furnace, finally. And that's allowing me to make solar panels. Pa oh, I cannot speak. <laughs> that's allowing me to make solar panels. I already have two. I want to get advanced solar panels. Uh, but for that, I need radiant glass panes. And for that, I need refined uranium, which you do by smelting uranium. Um, and I think I need two so you get six so I can make two with that alright easy enough I'm gonna smell some uranium and all that stuff um, and I don't know exactly where I should put the two solar panels I'll probably put them around here somewhere maybe maybe right below here I'm gonna move all the machines basically um, is this full this one yep yeah so I have a really, I have a, I have a decent uh, setup here. Um, I really just want to get rid of all of this stuff, move it over here, um, and I guess this will be like my sort of energy room. I should have made it bigger though. That's one thing I regret. But uh, I'm probably gonna expand it over here a little bit more, and I'll have all my machines over in this area. I might move this, these two things back further. Um, except I might have to make another one of those, which will be a pain. Ooh, I'm not really too sure. Um, uh, because I have, I have a bunch of machines. I think I have, I have a few. I don't need the magma crucible anymore, though. Um, so I have basically one, two, three, four, five machines. Um, so I may have to move this over to here, or I'll move these two over right here actually, that would be 
it'd be easier. I don't need all this piping right here. Uh, I can move the MFU. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going on and on. Anyway, um, when I get everything set up, I will. All right, so uh, I got everything set up here. Um, and it looks pretty good to me. I got my induction furnace finally. Oh, voice crack for some weird reason. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm pretty good on power for all this stuff. I got my two solar panels here. Um, I want at least 12 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's only eight. Dang it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get more of those, definitely. I'll be really, really happy about that. <laughs> I'll have energy for a long time. Um, hopefully I can go ultimate hybrid. Um, no, actually hybrid first, because ultimate hybrid is pretty much impossible at this stage. <laughs> um, yeah. I really want to move all these machines, too. I'm done with all the aqueous accumulator stuff all these hobbyist engines need to go they're out of date um, this needs to go it's it's done <laughs> I'll donate to donate them to someone who is in need um, and yeah all is pretty much good uh, I really want to check the recording time for this episode um, but I'm gonna do one last thing before we go so I'll be right back just to see the recording time um, so yeah guys, see you in a bit. Wow, it's only been about 11 minutes, man, it's... <laughs> it's felt like forever, seriously, that's crazy. Um, so I guess I am going to do a bunch of other things, I really want to get rid of this stuff, uh, this episode. But first, like I said, I want to show you guys this amazing thing. Do 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 do, do 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 do. Um, oh I need some coal. Right, let me get it, there we go. Um, five should be enough. I really don't need that much either. <laughs> but um, yeah, this thing is the best item in the game. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's called a zeppelin. And in three, two, one, let's go. Do 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 Oh man, look at the island, or look at my mountain from here. Um, if you guys are wondering, those trees are not natural. I placed them all, and I think that looks really cool. Uh, it kind of makes it look like that part is um overgrown tree. I might actually, if I get enough trees, or if I get enough wood, I'm going to replace the whole mountain with wood. So it looks like a giant tree. That'd be really cool. Or I might just leave it like that, I don't know. Um, but, what I want to show you guys is my setup in the nether for the, uh, whole energy situation. Um, basically, it, it's really simple. Uh, it's kind of resource demanding. Uh, I basically did it for my, to power the whole system up there, basically. <laughs> um, yep, not living in the stone ages anymore. I'm moving on to bigger and better things. Gonna start building an empire. Um, yeah, this is all be really good. But anyway, this is the whole setup. I have a pump here powered by four steam engines. Um, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a chunk loader here. Uh, so this will keep it loaded. And obviously, you can see the golden waterproof pipes that leads to the full iron tank of lava and that leads to these two uh, generators here these two geothermal generators which powers this MFE which is cool um, and then this geothermal generator I believe is powering this yeah it is it's powering this electrical engine I think I'm not really too sure but anyway this thing here um, is the liquid transposer obviously <laughs> Uh, I have a timer set up for, I think, five second delay. So every five seconds, I believe a full can of lava, a lava cell, will be uh, shipped in here from the, oh, oh from the, uh, this guy here. Or wait, 
Damn it, I'm getting confused. I think he ships it up there to where... Yeah, okay, so empty cans or empty filled... Empty... F Damn it. And empty cans come from here. Come from the ender chest to here. All the way to there. Back into there. And it's a continuous cycle. I think I got that right. I'm not really too sure. Um, but yeah, that's the basic setup. It's not really too hard. You really don't need the iron tank, but I just put it there for an extra extra little resource if I ever needed to move, which by the looks of it, I'm gonna have to. I mean, just look at how much lava that's taking. Jeez, that's crazy. Um, you know, it's easy to move, like, right over there. Oh no, fire bat! Oh, I want a ghast! <laughs> but yeah, it's really easy to, uh, move this setup. I'm, I'm probably not going to keep the iron tank. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. Um... No, it's really not necessary at all. I guess it's just a reserve tank. Um, but yeah, that's the basic setup, and it's really it's really handy. Uh, but I'd have to say, the best way to go, I think, is biomass. Or biofuel. Um, you can set up everything with that, which I might end up doing eventually. Uh, or I might go solar, and hopefully get a few ultimate hybrid solar, solar panels. Which I think... It's a long shot, <laughs> but um, that's one of my main goals for this whole series. Uh, yeah, this. Oh, I gotta move all this stuff. Um, this stuff is just such a pain to move. Um, oh, they're talking. She's. They, I cannot speak today. They are talking about uh, finding trees, I believe. Um, finding rainbow trees. Arujas being a tree breeder for some reason <laughs> nothing against that it's just uh, different <laughs> um, yeah I really need to oh one thing I need to do is set up a quarry Qu I cannot say that word either word uh, either a quarry I have a mining turtle down here as you can see it says mine um, and yeah this guy dug out all this and I need a I need a quarry badly. Or a filler. A filler would be even better because it's cheaper. And I need to get it before they uh, actually patch it. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of good ores. Some use useless like the Zycorium. Um, but what I'm really looking for is copper. Which will be amazing. Um, copper and tin. That's really all I need. Some iron too. Uh, and that's really it. And maybe some gold. But I'm pretty good on every other thing so far um i don't think i need too too much of anything really <laughs> uh i could just stay with this little setup here and do some other things but that's not what i'm gonna do i'm going to continue on i'm going to get uh some nuclear power going eventually but that will take a while and maybe i can do some side things like messing with bees Messing with uh, the trees like Alruja. That seems pretty interesting. Um, it really does. I want to do it so badly right now. <laughs> um, and yeah, messing with a lot of things in the Twilight Forest too. Ooh, that's one thing I need to do. Um, but yeah, so many things to do. I'm so glad we finally restarted. This is bothering me so much. I need to put you. Where'd you go? There? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so, um... Yeah, I think... That this is gonna be it for now. I know this was kind of a short episode. Um, got my wand of lightning. Ooh, I'm so happy. This is so fun. <laughs> Alright, but yeah. I think I will, uh, call it an episode here. Um, I basically got everything I wanted to get done. For this whole time. So, uh... I guess I will catch you guys later. Alright. <laughs> See ya.